Good afternoon. Good morning. You all are the blessedness of the Father, the, mag the, ma the magnificent essence of the glory of God. You are Zion, and I honor and I love you all. You are the bright morning star, and it is to that that I truly appreciate the dimension of the glory that each and every one of you truly is. In who? Christ Jesus, that who you have become. Amen and amen. So, I believe that, uh, you know, I don't really share much dreams um, here, but as the Lord basically encourages, I have to, um, because, you know, sometimes we have to wait and basically just try to understand what the will of the Father is before we do speak it upon creation. So it is to that that I just want to share this with each, with, with each and every one of us, because you have to understand that the Lord is bringing justice to so many things upon creation in this hour but i want to speak from the dimension of exposure yes exposure i want to speak from the dimension of exposure because the lord is exposing so many things around us that we have been ignorant of because the enemy is just wreaking havoc why because the bible declares that his days is you know his time is short and he has to basically you know do whatever he has to do and he's doing it quickly so but we thank god because the bible says he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty so it's a place that the lord is not just revealing those around us but is revealing leaders is revealing presidents governors kings prime ministers so he's revealing you know he's exposing a lot of things in this hour i have shared with each and every one of us a while back and i was helping us to understand if majority of you have been following when i was talking about who i was talking about uh, pre, uh the former president uh donald trump that you know there are a lot of things that are going to be exposed that you know the lord is going to reveal and it will be accusations which you know he's not going to get out of it because he's not basically coming back as the president you know, and then we begin to understand. I shared that concerning who uh, the ex prime minister of the United Kingdom, who is what Boris Johnson, and we see that that came into manifestation in itself. So the Lord is here again because majority of you, you are going through things and you're you're trying to understand where all of these things are stemming from. Some of you is not what you've done. And some of you is probably because of the accusations from things that you've done in times past. But the Lord is exposing. He's revealing what is hidden in secret and bringing it out into what? Into the open. And this is the dream. I, I just want to begin with this dream. So this was what I was given and I was shown. In the dream, I found I was seeing somebody following. Yeah, there, there was somebody not following, but leading. Yes, he was leading. And it was a, a man and he was going right in front. And as he was going, you know, I was beginning to ask him some questions and I was like, why am I going through what I'm going through? What helped me to understand it, you know, in order to be able to, you know, either pray against it or come into alignment, knowing, you know, and understanding, you know, that it's probably something I have to endure. <laughs> but then the man began to speak. He said, look, sometimes when you tell the truth uh, uh, in, you know, of what is truly happening, the enemy comes after you. Yes. You know, he comes after you and he tries to, because you're setting people free. So not only were we having that conversation, but we came to a point where, so this is why I just want to share, you know, that as we continue walking along, we came to a point where it was like it was a building, but we needed to, we needed to jump down. Yes, we needed to jump down. So from the building where we're jumping down, there was a fence that was right underneath, you know, just along the wall of that building. So upon jumping down of that building, the man jumped first and, you know, <laughs> it felt like an easy jump. That's what he did. He jumped first and then he kept on walking. I knew I had to catch up. <laughs> so what did I do? Gradually, I decided to step out of the, you know, step from the building by trying to maneuver my way down. And eventually I got down. But as soon as I landed on the floor, what happened was the wall that was basically around that building began to crumble. It basically fell down. So it was a place I was now trying to help the person to build it, but I felt inclined not to. So I left it and I walked away. Can you see? I left the building. So the man wanted to begin to speak like, hey, you destroyed my building and all of that manner. But I refused to listen to him and I kept going. So now this is the understanding of the dream in itself. 
right. So the person who was leading was Holy Ghost. And it was helping each and every one of us to understand that some of you, what you are going through is not a fault of your own, but it's a place what it is because of what it is that you're doing for the kingdom. So if you've been giving out the word, if you've been praying for people, if you've been encouraging people, if you've been sharing the word, you know, somebody basically out there does not like what it is that you are doing. No, not at all. They don't like it. And hence the reason why they're coming against you. Remember when Jesus, can you see that dimension? When he was crossing over to the other side, what happened? The storm came. So because he was about to go and basically set somebody free, the storm came. <laughs> Can you see that dimension? So majority of you, because of what it is that you're doing, that's the reason why the storm is coming against you. So not only that, he then went on to say, you know, jumping off the wall, then the wall crumbling. So the wall crumbling is, there are some things that have been hidden from you in times past. So there had to be an elevation for you to jump over what has been hidden from you. And the moment you jumped in faith onto the other side, what happened? The walls crumbled. So it's helping you to understand that majority of you, things that have been hidden from you in times past, they are what? They are what? Being exposed in this hour. Whether it was a leader, whether it was your friend, whether it was a family, you know, everything that people have done to you in an unjust manner for what it is that you're going through, whether it be the president, the government, it is in time that is exposing it. Can I read this dimension to you? Ephesians chapter 5. It says, For you were once in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as the children of light. So it says, For you were once in darkness. That means you did not know about the situation that was happening. Whether it was somebody who was working witchcraft against you. Whether it was somebody who went and told on you and accused you for the wrong reasons. Whether it was your boss who was basically, you know, he was manipulating all manner of things. Whether it is the government, just like in the Bible, in the book of, you know, in the book of 2 Kings, that the king was plotting against the king of Samaria. But Elisha was telling the king, hey, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. And the king was wondering, how did this man know? So you can see the king was in darkness because he did not know that he was being plotted against. But to Elisha, the revelation was made known. So you're now beginning to see that you were once in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as the children of light. For the fruit of light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And this is what he says in verse 11. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather exposed them. Can you see? Rather expose them. Rather expose expose them because it is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. So you can see that what they are doing in secret is what the father is exposing in this hour. And this exposure is helping you to walk in liberty because many people have done things to you without you understanding what has been done. And now he's revealing it so you can understand that everything that happened to you was not your fault. Can you see that dimension? For some of you, it probably is, but he's giving you a way out. But I'm speaking to those that what? It was not their fault, but yet they did this to them. Because why? They were ignorant of the situation. Can you see? Now, it says that what? So he's exposing everything that is what? Hidden in darkness so that you can no longer have anything to do with them. So you can be in the midst of a family. They are working witchcraft against one another. And the Lord exposes them. And he says, have nothing to do with them anymore. It could be in your sanctuary. They've been plotting like they did Jeremiah and the rest of the prophet like Jesus at the same time. Can you say with Jesus and Judas? He said, whatever you have to do, do quickly. Because Judas had already been exposed to Jesus. Can can you see that dimension? <laughs> and he did it quickly by betraying him. So you can begin to understand that dimension because in the book, I believe in, in, in the book of Acts, it says they were what? They were plotting against Apostle Paul. But then his sister's brother, Derabad, I believe it was, he came to tell him, he said, this is what they're doing, that they're men lying in wait because they have been fasting. And they said, do not bring Apostle Paul to the temple because they are waiting on the road to kill him before he gets to his destination. So you can 
begin to see that it was an exposure that happened to who? That happened to Apostle Paul. And this is the dimension that the Lord is revealing to you. For what the government is doing, I'm exposing it to you. For what those around you are doing, I'm exposing it to you. Because some of you, you are bearing the consequences of other people's actions. You didn't do wrong. They did wrong. They blamed you. And now you're bearing the consequences of their actions. Now he's saying, I'm exposing. So even for some of you who basically engaged in all of this, he's helping you to understand that it was not your fault, but I'm exposing that too, so that you can walk in the liberty that I've always wanted you to walk in. The book of Ezekiel helped to understand. This is what he says. He said in verse 12 of chapter 8, the book of Ezekiel, he said, he said to me, son of man, have you seen what the elders of Israel are doing in the darkness, each at the shrine of his own idol? They said, the Lord does not see us. So you can see, when I jumped over onto the other side and the wall came crumbling down, the man began to accuse. So there was something the man was doing there that he didn't want anybody to see. That's the reason why he raised up a wall. <laughs> can you see that dimension? He said, the Lord does not see us. The Lord has forsaken our land. Again, he said, you will see them doing things that are even what? More detestable. Can you see? Then he brought me to the entrance of the north gate of the house of the Lord. And I saw women sitting there mourning the God of Tammuz. And he said to me, do you see this son of man? You will see the things that are even more detestable than this. Can you see? So you can begin to see in the book of Daniel, Ezekiel chapter 8, he was exposing what people were doing in secret. So this is the dimension of the holiness of God concerning you because he is what? He is exposing it. Can I basically help you to understand the justice that is coming upon these people? Now, let's go to the dimension of Jeremiah chapter 25. Now, you can see in verse 29, it says, See, I am, bringing to the, I am beginning to bring disaster on the city that bears my name. And will you indeed go unpunished? You will not go unpunished, for I am calling down a sword on all who live on the earth, declares the Lord Almighty. Now prophesy all these words against them and say to them, the Lord will roar from on high. He will thunder from his holy dwelling and roar mightily against his land. He will shout like those who tread the grapes, shout against all who live on the earth. The tumult will resound to the ends of the earth, for the Lord will bring charges against the nations. He will bring judgment on all mankind and put the wicked to the sword, declares the Lord. This is what the Lord says. Look, disaster is spreading from nation to nation. A mighty storm is rising from the ends of the earth. At that time, time, those slain by the Lord will be everywhere, from one end of the earth to the other. They will not be mourned or gathered up or buried, but will be like dung lying on the ground. So you can begin to understand it. The Lord is bringing justice against the wicked in this hour. And this is what is helping you to understand. I'm roaring. So I am exposing it because I'm bringing it all to an end. For it is time for you to ascend into what I have called you to do. Because many a time I have called them to repent of their wickedness wickedness, but they have refused to turn. They have refused. So it is a place where the judgment placed on you is being reversed. That is why I am exposing it first. Hence why the scripture tells us that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So this is the hour that I'm showing you the truth so that you can understand that the guilt, the shame, all that you have bared in this time and period, which you have burdened yourself with was not your fault right from the very beginning. So I am removing that, giving it to those who gave it to you in the first place and I'm bringing justice over their wickedness concerning you so that you can walk in liberty because enough is enough. So in this hour, this is where you're going to begin to see exposures everywhere. But this is my counsel to each and every one of you. Let your heart not rejoice when you see your enemy fall. No, don't let your heart rejoice concerning it. Pray for the ones the Lord has told you to pray for and don't pray for the one the Lord has warned you not to pray for. And this is where you begin to understand at the same time that be merciful so that you also can what? Obtain mercy. So in every place that you can show mercy, show mercy at the same time and forgive them. For those who did you wrong, love them and forgive them. The Bible tells us clearly, owe no man nothing but love. Can you see that? Owe them nothing but love. That's why he instructs us, Jesus did. Bless those who curse you and pray for those who despitefully use you. So my counsel is to what? Is to love them forgive them, forgive yourself for the part that you played and let it go. I know it's not going to be easy when this truth is being unveiled to majority of us.
us. Some of us want to harbor on forgiveness, but watch your heart. Yes, watch your heart heart. Let your heart just surrender it to the Lord. That's why the Bible says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Because for what is exposing around you, wow. <laughs> I can only I can only release the mercy of God concerning it. Amen and amen. But I, I just release the grace for you to be able to forgive and what? To let go. In Jesus' mighty name, because this is the hour that exposure. You're going to see it with government. Things that governments are hiding in secret that they don't want the public to know whistleblowers are going to arise in this hour with the security system with the health system with the nations this is the rise you're going to begin to see the rise of whistleblowers because they are bringing the government he says i am what i am the one who raises kings and i bring them down because it is time for you to move in what god has called you is the reason why he's raising them up so that he can reveal what they've been doing in secret you see it in that dimension because the hour has come so pray continue to pray for the government continue to pray for them as the lord leads you to do you see it amen and amen so that's my counsel <laughs> i pray the lord guides you and basically you know uphold his cause uh, uh, uh by by in your walk with him in jesus mighty name so please you know when you begin to see all of this because you're going to begin to see it everywhere you're going to see it on the news this person this is what they did there's going to be whatsapp messages being leaked <laughs> you know private messages being leaked all of these messages are being leaked here to and fro and it's not going to be it's not it's not a it's not a joyful time for them in this period in time but for you who has been what vindicated because this exposure is to bring your vindication so in this time of vindication is where the lord is saying keep your heart right in this time of what exposure amen and amen i love each and every one of you to god be the glory <laughs> love you all blessings